I'm going to check the distributor rotation direction. Just crank the engine over. It does go counterclockwise. So I can have that back in there correctly. There's the oil pump shaft. That's where I'm going to put that screwdriver in and turn counterclockwise. Bushing in there is half an inch wide. I don't like the idea of being that dang close, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be very careful not to scrape the side of that. Using using the drill to drive the oil pump. There's a precaution. Don't push down on the drill pushing the oil pump shaft down against the base of the oil pump that could cause a premature wearing of the pump rotor to the oil pump plate cover Got some resistance. I have oil coming up into the distributor bushing. can't see my bushing anymore. I'm trying to stay in the center. It's a very thick oil. Some very thick oil. Still no oil in the rockers yet. Nothing in the lifters. Drill. That couple of turns that I cranked it 
was enough to bring fuel up into the filter. So uh, I think I better just plan on this thing starting. Put the cap on, put the plug wires back on, and uh, charge the battery on the camera. The original carburetor, I did not change the settings. I increased the compression ratio from 7.5 to 9 to 1. Uh, that's the Mark III Spitfire camshaft. It's standard for the Mark III, a little more aggressive, not enough of a difference to have to change so much stuff. That's the original distributor, that's the original timing. I didn't change any springs, any weights. I didn't change my setting for the timing. So what I got is a cam and some pistons and got rid of that catalytic and the um, smog stuff off of here. Five minutes or 20 minutes. I've got a exhaust leak here. That plug it didn't seal it completely, so I got to have a better plug than that.
Well, the pan's dry down there. Good. I guess it's uh, coffee time.